it's Friday. Welcome back. 60 degrees out there. Going to be an absolutely glorious day. I'm glad I am. What a beautiful, beautiful weekend we have in store for us. No rain to worry about. High temperatures today around 90. Pretty much ditto for tomorrow. Hope everyone's having a great breakfast. The rest of the weekend, not bad at all. We're having Chick-fil-A. We could see rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with that 30% chance all the way carried out through Thursday. Did you enjoy Chick-fil-A this morning? <laughs> I haven't had any. You have a special guest this morning. I do, I do. This is Freddie Thomas. She's one of our you know, more skilled agents. She's been in the business 38 years. 38 awesome. years. Good morning. Good morning, Freddie. I'm only 49. 49? Well, That's I pretty good. Gone, right? You just like Mark over there. But that's on I mean, he used to be selling real estate back he many, many kid. years ago. Uh, he was a kid. Yeah. Back there. Just, was. just a wee. Yeah, I just keep going. That's kind of like when I started in TV. Of course, you made a lot more money than I did when I first started. Mm -hmm. I brought home $283 a month. And I was married the first time. <laughs> I won't even pay child support now, but, uh, you know, I'm over that, by the way. Thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> so, Freddie, what do you, uh, how long have you been with Marmac Real Estate? Six years. Six since years? He start, since he opened his business, yeah. Mark and I have worked together. Um, 35 years. 35 <laughs> years, yeah. So, yeah. you've been, that's all you've done is real estate, basically. Then. Yeah, that's all I've ever done, basically. How's the market right now, especially in Decatur, Morgan County? It's very good. We need a lot of listings because we have a lot of buyers. So, the more listings we have, the more likely it is for your house to get shown. Now, I know we've talked with Mark several times about this, but when somebody calls and wants to list a house, I'm assuming you go meet with them, you do a walkthrough. How's all that work for you? How do you, you do anything any different than, say, somebody else does that maybe are a real estate agent in the, over there? I doubt that I would do anything different. We make an appointment. I walk through their home. I do a market analysis, market study, go back with them and show them exactly what we feel their house would sell for. And now, most a lot of, of the time, time it sells within 3% of what we put it on the market really? for. Really? Yeah. If but they listen to you. If, if they'll they listen, listen to you. That's the key. How stubborn can some people be from time to time? Oh, my house worth a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. Incredibly stubborn. <laughs> That's the honest answer. Yeah, but that you just have to say, these are the facts. And if you want to do what you're insisting upon doing, then it's going to be on the market for much longer. So if somebody's got their price uh, way overpriced, it's gonna, and then they're going to blame you because y'all aren't doing your job as marketers to try that's to, correct. to sell, uh, sell this house. But, but that's correct. But our, you know, our job is to remind them in the process that you know, 30 days later, that you know, if nothing's happening on their house, that we need to move it back to the price that we suggested you, you know, listed it in the first place. How often does that happen? Uh, when we list properties in 30 days, we need to readjust if we haven't got it sold or haven't got an interested party. And the What's people that want to sell, really want to sell, that, you know, they listen. You, know, you can tell that quickly right. in 30 and, days. And sometimes, you know, you have to walk away. You know, if people don't, you know, Want to, you know, if their price is not in reality, then it doesn't look good on us to have a house sitting on the market. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, our job is to tell you the truth. It's so when you house. see, I know there's several large houses in uh, Athens that are for sale, and about once a month we go by and it's a new price. Right. That's because now, they're pity the wrong. poor soul who paid full price for it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But you know, that's today's market. I mean, you've got, you know, you've got to have your price right to get something sold. You, you, there's no fluff in it. But it's like, I know we was trying to sell our house in Huntsville. We did the wrong thing. We went by owner. <laughs> and I said, well, we're in a hot place. Well, I asked like 200000 more than it was worth. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Huntsville Times that day, when I bought the land, put it for 300 less. less than what I was asking for to start with. It like well, it was like a circus outside. <laughs> Man, we can buy a house on Locust Circle for $175,000? No, I wanted 700 for it. <laughs> but what did that tell you? Well, it told price me Price is I, everything. That's yeah, right. Price is everything. But why should people not try to do it? I mean, people try to save money. Why do people not need to go for sale by owner? Several reasons. Number one is that they're not always available to show their home. Mm -hmm. We are mostly always available at various times of the day to show their home. What are some of the hazards they also face by showing it themselves? Well, they never know who's coming in their, in their home. They do not get their driver's license before they come into the house. They do not. Do y'all do that? Yes. 
Have them pre-approved? I didn't know that. They're not pre-approved. They're just various reasons. Mostly the safety, I think. That's a good, good, good point, I yeah, guess. I never thought about this. Yeah. It's like come in and steal something while you're not looking, too. Or That's scope right. out okay. the place or and come learn in to your see habits. What you have. And, right. Right. So they are, okay, so y'all take their driver's license if somebody's going to look at a house. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, we, Unless I know them. Yeah. Yeah, we know who they are. So if there's anything missing or something, you know, right. you've got a, you can backtrack on it. And it's so easy to happen. Just and, you know, and we're the responsible one. You know, we have it listed. They're, you know, they know exactly who come in the house and who left the house. Where when you're for sale by owner, you know, you don't know who's calling you. And, you know, you haven't dealt with it enough to know what's on the other end of the phone to know whether they're legit or not. And people just try to think they can sell it themselves and save money by doing that. Yeah, they do. And when most of the time they put them on the market for more than what they're really worth. Now they judge they they the people that sell on they haven't done the comps so they don't know what's selling around them. Right, that's correct. They just know what they paid for it and maybe what they put into it. Well, right. and they know what's been on the market, but they don't know what it actually sold for. It might have been on the market for 120. They might have sold for 110. All they remember is it was on the market for 120. Basically, how long, when you guys list a house, and you are one of the leading listing agents and real estate companies in this area, how long does a house stay on the market on average? Uh, average market time is 123 days. Okay. And, and you know, our goal is to decrease that number and make it where you know, average market time is a lot less. Uh, if, if a house is priced right, 30 days, it's going to be gone. Now, wow. you do not just Decatur Morgan County. Right. You do Lath and Limestone County, Huntsville, Madison County, Florence, Florence County. All of North Alabama. Right. Do Shoals area too? We do. we do. So you can list a house Paul, anywhere yeah. people can he see and hear us right now, you can list their house. Yes, we can. And there's the opportunity that <laughs> may be greater with you guys selling it than anybody else because of y'all's expertise. It will be. Expertise. It will. <laughs> All right, so if you list a no house denying. with Mark Moody, <laughs> Freddie over here at Marmac Real Estate, your chances of getting that house sold in a much quicker time is far greater than with anyone else. That's correct. That sounds like a spot. I believe that. No, you what? ought to. You've you sold to. many houses. All right, anything we is know about Marmac Real Estate? Uh, we're, 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 we're the best real estate company in North Alabama, so please come do business with us. List your house. Freddie, anything yeah. else? No, I'm just happy to be at Marmac. And we are the best company in North Alabama. All right, so y'all list a house, list it with them, <laughs> give them a call. You want to get over here and sing one day or anything? No. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Fred. Yes or no? Yeah, Fred. No. Go ahead, okay. Fred. Well, I always I give everybody an opportunity. To do that. I always give everybody to get an opportunity to get a start. Hey, boys, y'all ready? Yes, sir. There Roger and Jimmy. We'll talk with them in just a second. Let's go local and love it. Do what? Nothing. Now she can get an out. No, it's still on TV. Let's go local and love it. We'll be back in just a second. Y'all, well, hang on. <laughs> original song I wrote along with me and uh, Michael Milton Sledge. I'm waiting on the love of my life Hoping that someday she'll be my wife Searching for an answered prayer to come and I can be the only one And I try, yes I try To be true I'm waiting on the birth of our child just can't wait to see it loving smile I want to help him grow into a man Lord, help me do the best I can And I try, Lord, I try to be true But a house and a home It's only brick and stone It takes more than love to build a family 
Get the foundation strong It'll weather any storm in a raging sea I'm a waiting on a watching golden chain. Forty years of work has had its pain. I never miss a single day in all that time. What I got ain't much, but it's all mine. And I try. Yes, I try, oh, I try to be true. Good, Dan. Appreciate it.